I just finished my workout. I'm just leaving the gym. Whew, it was rough. I told you guys that I re-signed up with my fitness coach and my goals are obviously different this year than last year when I was with her, like two days ago last year. It's so weird to say that, but my goals are obviously different. So my workouts are different. Boy, whew, my arms are tired. Like it hurts to hold my phone up to record this clip, which is always a good thing. It's good to break those muscles down when we go to the gym. So now I'm gonna go ahead and walk home and I'm pretty hungry. I always like to carb up after a workout. That's the best time to eat carbs pre, post exercise. So I'm gonna go home, make some breakfast. I finished my protein coffee before I walked to the gym this morning. And now I just need some food before I get ready for the day, but I thought I'd hop on and say hi, welcome you officially to today's What I Eat in a Day. So here's what I'm gonna do for breakfast this morning. Like I said, I need to add a little bit of carbs in, but also some protein. So I'm going to do one of the Thomas English muffins. This is just the regular Thomas English muffin. I'm going to do one serving, which is two slices of the uncured ham from Sam's Club, one Laughing Cow cheese, and basically make like a little breakfast sandwich. And then I'm going to have half of a cup of my Good Culture Cottage cheese and the rest of these raspberries. I don't know how many are left. We'll weigh everything out on my food scale. So here's my breakfast. So I have my little breakfast sandwich. I have 45 grams of raspberries. That's all that I had left in the container. And then I ended up doing 125 grams of cottage cheese to finish up what was in the container. It's only 15 grams more than the normal half of a cup serving. Of course, it's on my Uba home plate. You guys already know how much I love the Uba home. They're all pre-portioned plates, bowls, to-go containers. Love them. I will link them down below with a discount and I'll put points, calories, macros here on the screen for you. I'm going to head into the kitchen really quick, make up my amino from a Motivate post-workout. It's my BCAAs, the supplement that I take after I work out. It just really helps with muscle recovery. Girls' arms are sore. My arms are pretty sore from today, so I'm going to mix that up. And then let's sit down and let's have a little chat. There's a few things that I wanna talk with you guys about, especially as we've moved into the new year. my Motivate Amino. Again, this is what I use for post-workout. Every time I work out, I take a supplement of some sort to help with muscle recovery, energy, appetite suppressant. I really like the Amino from Motivate. I'll link Motivate down below with a big discount for you guys. So I'm going to sip on this and I thought we could sit down and have a little talk, have a little heart-to-heart, -heart, kind of work through 
the new year because I know that the new year is really exciting. We jump into our goals for the new year, both feet in, full force, ready to go. But by February, honestly, a lot of the motivation for those goals that we set for the beginning of the year starts to dwindle. If you go to a gym, you'll see that in January, there's a big influx of people that join the gym. And by end of February, beginning of March, all of those people or the majority of those people have cleared out. That's pretty common for setting New Year's resolutions. That's why they say that making New Year's resolutions isn't really effective. Now, I kind of disagree with that. I don't make New Year's year's resolutions per se, but I do set some goals for the new year because I think goal setting and goal planning is really important in helping you reach your goals. I did a whole video on my 2023 vision board and my goals. I'll link that down below in case you missed it. But the issue isn't setting goals. Like I said, I think goal setting is really important. But what I'm seeing on all of my different social media platforms, whether it's on YouTube, my Facebook group, Instagram, is people have set these fantastic goals for the the new year, but they've set a lot of goals and they're diving in headfirst into 10 different goals. What's going to happen is you're going to get overwhelmed and you're going to quit because losing weight is already a part-time job. Figuring out what foods to eat, weighing and measuring your foods, weighing yourself, going to the gym, drinking your water, it all can be really, really overwhelming. So I thought that I would share a little tip with you that I share with my coaching clients. Speaking of coaching clients, I actually have five coaching calls today and one here in about 15 minutes, but I wanted to share one of the tips that I share with them all the time, and that's baby steps. Whatever it is that you want to do, whether it's your goals for the new year, maybe you want to start a weight loss journey or start a fitness routine, or just focus on getting in your water every day, start in baby steps. We lose weight by food. Weight loss starts in the kitchen, fitness starts in the gym, and that is 100% a real thing. So if you're on a weight loss journey and one of your goals for this year is to lose weight, focus on your food. Get your food under control, that you're tracking your food every day, that you're making healthy food choices, that you're using food as fuel and navigating your food successfully before you add other pieces to the puzzle. Don't go in saying, I'm going to change my diet, work out, drink my water, because it's too much. Start with your food. And once you have that under control, and once you are successfully losing weight, once you feel like your relationship with food is on the right path to healing, that's when you add in the next step, whether that be water or fitness. And I say this from personal experience. I didn't start a regimented workout routine until June of 2022. So six months ago, I lost over a hundred pounds before I started a workout routine. Because for me, I had to heal my relationship with food. I had to get my food under control and I had to get some of the weight off before I could physically do all of the activity without being miserable for weeks and weeks and so sore. Now I still get so but it's doable. So focus on food, whatever that looks like for you, whether that's WW, counting macros and calories, whatever you're doing to be successful when it comes to weight loss and food, focus on that. And once you have that in your back pocket, once you can do that in your sleep, add in the next piece of the puzzle. Trust me, from personal experience, it's going to make a big difference in how successful you are, and it'll make a big difference in making you not one of those people that quit come February or March. The new year is really exciting. And we, like I said, we want to jump in with both feet, but taking baby steps, really, really important. Speaking of goals and the new year, let me know down in the comments, what is your main goal for 2023? Is it weight loss related, fitness related, family related, personal related? Let me know down in the comments. That way we can help each other reach our 2023 goals. So I'm going to continue sipping on my Motivate Amino. I'm going to get my computer set up. Like I said, I have five coaching calls today, one of them here in just a few minutes. And once I get off the first couple of calls, we will have a morning snack. I'm debating if I want to go grab a coffee. I've actually been really good and haven't been having two coffees every day. I've been really good about that, but I feel like today I kind of want one. I kind of want to go get a second coffee. So we'll see. We'll see where the day takes us. I'm going to hop on my coaching call and I'll see you at morning snack. So for our morning snack, we're gonna try this protein bar that I picked up in my last grocery haul. I saw it at the checkout and thought, we need to try this out for science. This is from the brand Fulfill, and this is the Chocolate Peanut Caramel Protein Bar. It says vitamin and protein bar. There's 15 grams of protein, one gram of sugar, 160 calories. So I wanna try this out. 
It actually looks really, really good. It kind of gives me Bear Bell, Bear Bell vibes, those Bear Bell bars. I don't really like those. They don't agree with my stomach very well. So I'm excited to try this. There's the texture of it. Which is actually really, really good. I was looking at the back of it and there is a lot of ingredients in here. I do see maltitol, which is a sugar substitute that can cause problems in that area. It doesn't really affect me much. There's not a lot in here, but I do see that on the ingredient list. There's also natural flavors. I'm looking through the rather long list. Those are really the only two not so clean ingredients. There is a lot of vitamins in here and it's whey protein. So whey protein isolate. It's really good though. It doesn't have any weird aftertaste at all. It tastes like a Snickers bar, honestly. And the little peanuts on top give it some texture. Really good. I'm wondering if they have other flavors. I'm gonna look online, see if I can find these maybe on Amazon. I'll link them down below if I can find them, but 10 out of 10. We're in the drive-thru. Boxes. Troy went to take the boxes to the dump and it was closed, I think, Saturday, the day before New Year's. So now they get to sit in my car so we can get to the dump. So ignore the boxes. But I'm in the drive thru at Duncan to grab a coffee. It is about 10 15 in the morning. I've been up since four. So I get a lot of comments like, oh, you have a second coffee in the morning? Yeah, because it's like halfway through the day for me. So I am going to get a second coffee. I have three more coaching calls today. Just lots of work to catch up on. I'm still kind of playing catch up from. Christmas. So it's kind of been a lot, but let's grab a second coffee so that that can kind of propel us through the morning. I have secured my coffee. I did my usual iced Americano medium, two creams, three pumps of sugar-free toasted almond. It's my favorite sugar-free flavor and an extra shot. So I'll go ahead and put all that on the screen here. The only point in this is the cream is the half and half and it's only two, which I count as two tablespoons of half and half and it's delicious. Very coffee-y, but has that little bit of sweetness from the toasted almond and then creaminess from the cream. Okay, Duncan did an amazing job. So good this time. It is perfect coffee taste. It's actually really coffee-y, which I like, which is a little bit of flavor and cream. Mm. This is seriously making my mid-morning. So for my lunch today, I'm having what I meal prepped, which is my sweet potato chili. Oh my gosh, I cannot tell you guys how good this is. It has such great flavor. It's packed with protein, packed with vegetables, but I'm also going to have a little more vegetables. I'm going to have some cucumbers just because really low calorie volume food, so it's going to help keep me full and I need to use up the cucumbers I have cut up in the fridge. But if you didn't see my meal prep on Monday, I'll link it for you. That's where I made this recipe. Absolutely delicious. So that is today's lunch. What do you got? Do you have the squeaker? Let me see it. Let me see your squeaker. Let me see it. Palmer, can mama see your squeaker? Lola, get Palmer. Get his squeaker from him. Okay, let mommy see. Yeah, I see your squeaker. <laughs> did you destroy your baby? <gasps> did you do it? Yes, you did. Yes, you destroyed your baby. You got a squeaker. You got a squeaker. I'm going to make an afternoon snack. I've been kind of craving egg salad, so I'm actually going to use one of these Wasa crackers, these multi-grain crackers. I love these. I actually shared these in my top 22 foods of 2022 because I love these. They add such a nice crunch for only 35 calories in one point. And then I'm actually going to make egg salad. I have a little two pack of pre-boiled shelled eggs. I'm going to use one whole egg, one egg white, chop it up, add a tablespoon of light mayo, and then I'm going to top it with some arugula for a little bit of greens, a little bit of crunch. This kind of has a good peppery, peppery kind of taste to it. So it'll be really, really good. So let's put together a snack. It has like a bunch of different stuff and it's like a sheet pan, roast sheet pan dinner. Yeah, a bunch. Mushrooms and squash and... Not cool. So here's my snack. This looks super, super good. We've got a crispy 
wasa cracker, a little bit of arugula for some crunch, and then egg salad. So super high protein, getting in a little bit of greens, healthy carb. I'll put all the information here on the screen for you. For tonight's dinner, I'm making crispy sheet pan gnocchi with mushrooms, sausage, and butternut squash. So we're going to get in lots of protein. We're making a lower point, lower calorie, healthier gnocchi option, and we're gonna get in lots of veggies. So let me show you what's in dinner. First, you're going to need some salt and pepper. I will link my gravity fed salt and pepper grinders down below. I bought them on Amazon, love them. You're going to need some Parmesan cheese, mushrooms, sausage of your choice. I'm using my Gilbert's bourbon apple sausage. I love this sausage so much. You'll need a red onion, gnocchi. What I'm doing is substituting potato gnocchi with cauliflower from Trader Joe's. It doesn't taste any different. It's just a healthier, lower calorie, lower point option. I'm going to use two full bags. You'll need dried rosemary or fresh rosemary and some butternut squash. First thing I'm going to do is chop my sausages. I'm going to cut each one into four pieces and then I need half of this red onion chopped as well. So I'm going to do two separate baking sheets. These are just quarter baking sheets. I buy these on Amazon. I'll link them for you guys. On one of them, I'm going to add my onion. I did cut it into bigger sections just because I like a little bit bigger roasted onion. And then I did not cut up my mushrooms. You can quarter them if you would like. I'm just going to roast them whole. I think I like the bigger roasted mushrooms better. And then to this sheet pan, I'm going to add my quartered Gilbert's sausages. So there's the first sheet pan. And then I have a second quarter pan also sprayed with nonstick cooking spray. I cheated and bought my butternut squash pre-cooked. I don't know if I cheated. It's just a lot easier, a lot more convenient. So I'm going to add my whole container of chopped up butternut squash and then both bags of my cauliflower gnocchi. I did take it out of the freezer, I don't know, a couple hours ago. So it's pretty much thawed. I mean, it's a little tiny bit frozen still. If you can get it thawed, that would probably be better, but mine is about, I'd say 80% thawed. So this sheet pan has the gnocchi and the butternut squash. I'm going to spray everything with some nonstick cooking spray so that the seasoning sticks. with the exception of the sausage. Not going to spray anything on those. I'm going to add salt and pepper, and then fresh or dried rosemary. I couldn't find fresh rosemary. I had a hard time finding some fresh herbs for some reason. I was looking for dill as well and couldn't find it. So I'm just going to use dried rosemary. Our two sheet pans are going into a 450 degree oven for about 25 minutes. Just keep an eye on them. Make sure everything's cooked through and nice and crispy. I pulled out the sheet pan that has the sausage, mushrooms, and onions. They are done. These look really good. The gnocchi and the butternut squash is still in the oven. They'll be right there when they come out. It's going to be just a couple more minutes before they're nice and done. So there's the gnocchi and the butternut squash, all the veggies. I just put together my bowl. Doesn't this look so good with the cauliflower gnocchi? Butternut squash, onions, mushrooms, sausage. Such a great easy meal. Literally throw it on a sheet pan, throw it in the oven. Perfect, perfect high protein, lots of veggie meal. I'll go ahead and put all of the macros points information here on the screen for you. Dessert tonight, coming courtesy of True Fruit. I bought these at Sam's Club. These are incredible, by the way. They are freeze dried strawberries coated in white chocolate. Look at these. They are so, so delicious. I usually only have one or two of them and they are the perfect sweet treat. They are just loaded with white chocolate and then the freeze dried strawberry in the middle is so good. So that is going to be dessert. I leave the TV on, I'm done with your Thank you for joining me for today's What I Eat in a Day on WW. I hope you enjoyed coming along with me today, seeing all of my clean, whole food, healthy meals. Of course, the dinner recipe, absolutely delicious. The dogs, everything I shared with you today will be linked down in the description box, along with nutrition coaching, links and discounts to my other favorite things. And of course, don't forget, come join our Facebook group. We would love to have you. Thank you so much for watching. Of course, thumbs up the video if you enjoyed it, and I'll see you in Friday's weigh-in. Bye!